problem is to just show you that x squared plus 3x minus 28 when factorized will give you x minus 4 into x plus 7. Okay, this is settled already, okay, from our factorization. So I believe you know how to factorize. Then having x squared minus 2x minus 8, once factorized, I am going to have x minus 4 into uh, x plus 2, okay, when factorized. So also, if I have 6x squared, x squared minus 11x minus 52, once factorized, I am going to have x minus 4, okay, then into, um, I think it's going to be 6x plus 13. So I factorize, and this is what I'm going to have. So I'll replace it, okay? Now replacing it uh, means that I'm going to have all root of x minus 4 into x plus 7, then plus all root of x minus 4 into x plus 2, then is equals to all root of uh, x minus 4 into 6x plus 13. Now what I'm going to do next is to take this down to this side so that I'm going to have the same expression, but this time around, I'm going to have everything on the left-hand side, okay? Now having all this, you agree with me that there is something that is unique about this expression. You will find out that we have x minus 4 here, x minus 4 here, x minus 4. Okay? Now, having seen this, I want to remind you of something. Do you know that from the rules of sort, if I have the root of p, q, this can be written as root of p into root of q? Yes, yeah, since we agree that it can be written this way because of the rules of sort, then what I'm going to do is I'm going to have it as, that is the expression as x root of x minus 4 all squared, then into root of x plus 7, then plus I'm going to have root of x minus 4, then I will have root of x plus 2. Okay, now since I have this, if you check, root of x plus 4, uh, root of x minus 4, sorry, is common to everything. So I'm going to factorize it out. I'll factorize it out as having root of x minus 4, bringing it out. So I'm going to have a big bracket where this will be root of x plus 7, okay, then plus root of x plus 2, then minus root of 6x plus plus 13 everything now is equals to zero okay now let me show you something again recall once you factorize that is you are going to solve a quadratic equation using factorization method once you factorize let's say at the end of the day you have x plus x minus one into x plus two is equals to zero what you do is x minus one can actually be equals to zero for everything to be equals to zero or we can say x plus 2 is equal to 0. Okay. Since we know this, that is exactly the conclusion I'm going to use so that I can make um, root of x minus 4 equals 0. So let me take this off. Okay. Taking this off now, I'm going to have uh, the first scenario is that root of x minus 4 should be equal to 0. Or I have root of x plus 7 plus root of x plus 2 minus root of 6x plus 13 is equal to 0. So I have two situations now, okay? Now working these situations, I'll start from the first situation. These are the two situations that I have. So I'm going to start with the first one. The first one says root of x minus 4 is equal to 0. Squaring both sides, I'll end up with x minus 4 is equal to 0. So x is equal to 4. 
Now, there's a false uh, value of four that are, uh, of x that I've gotten. Then the second one is going to be a bit lengthy, but we are going to do it together, okay? Now, the second one is root of x plus 7 plus root of x plus 2 minus root. Okay, now instead of having the minus, why not let me just take it, okay? Let me just take it um, to the other side so that I'm going to have equals to 6x, root of 6x plus 13, okay? Now, the next thing to do is to square both sides. That is a way of solving this, okay? On squaring both sides, what I'm going to have, or this expression is going to be root of x plus 7, okay? Then plus root of x plus 2, all into the same thing, root of x plus 7, plus root of x plus 2. Then we close the bracket, and this will be equals to just 6x plus 13. Why? Because this root will this square will cancel this root. Okay. Now the work is to expand what is on the left hand side. Now on expanding it, root of x plus seven multiplying root of x plus seven becomes x plus seven only. Now when root of x plus seven multiplies root of x plus two, what I'm going to have is root of x plus seven into root of x plus 2, okay, into x plus 2, sorry, the same thing, I'm going to have x plus 7 into x plus 2, then the last one, when root of x plus 2 multiplies root of x plus 2, I'm going to have x plus 2, now recall everything is equal to 6x plus 13, so I'm going to collect like terms and rearrange, what do I mean? Um x plus x we have 2x 7 plus 2 we have plus 9 then plus this and this are equal so once we add it we are going to have 2 into x plus 7 into x plus 2 is equal to 6x plus 13 now collecting like terms i'm going to have my on the left hand side i have root of x plus 7 then into x plus 2, this will be equal to 6x plus 13, then minus 2x minus 9. Remember, taking this one over to the right-hand side. So I have 2 root of uh, x plus 7 into x plus 2 um, will be equal to, I have 4x, then plus 4. Now, 2 root of x plus 7 into x plus 2 will be equals to 4. I'm factorizing this now. This x plus 1. Now, once I divide both sides by 2, okay, divide this by 2 and divide this by 2, this cancels it out and this here 1 and this is 2. So, I'm going to have all root of x plus 7 into x plus 2 is equals to 2 uh, into x plus 1. So what I'm going to do here again is to square both sides, all right? So that I can take off the square root. So this will cancel the square root. I'm going to have x plus 7 into x plus 2. Then is equals to, uh, here I'm going to have 4 into x plus 1 all squared. Now expanding this, uh, what I'm going to have is x squared plus uh, 7x plus 2x then plus 14 will be equal to 4 into x squared plus 2x then plus 1. Now this is x squared plus 9x plus 14 is equal to 4x squared plus 8x plus 4. Now taking the whole of this down to this side, um, I'm going to have 4x squared plus 8x plus 4 minus x squared minus 9x minus 14 is equal to 0. So 4x squared minus x squared is going to be 3x squared. Then 8x minus 9x will be minus x. Then 4 minus 14 will be minus 
uh, 10 is equals to 0. So this has turned to something that I can actually factorize and get it done with, okay? I want to believe you still remember how to factorize, okay? You will now take this, multiply by this, so that I'll have minus 30x squared. So factors of minus 30x squared that will add up to be minus 1, because this is, uh, the equation here is minus 1, okay? So let's take note, and of course the factors are minus 6x and 5x. So what I will do now is to have it as 3x squared minus 6x minus 5x minus 10 is equal to 0. Now I'm factorizing, this is 3 x into x um uh plus okay minus two okay i think i have a um, small issue here this is supposed to be plus okay so let me have it this way then i'm going to have plus what i'm going to take out is five into x minus two is equals to zero so i have x minus two into three x plus five is equals to zero so, x minus 2 is equal to 0 implies that x is equal to 2. Then, 3x minus, uh, 3x plus 5 is equal to 0 implies that x is equal to uh, minus 5 over 3. Now, there are, there are three answers that I've gotten. Remember, the first one we got, we said x is equal to 4. Look at it, okay? Here. So I'm going to rearrange it now. My three answers, we have x is equals to 4. I have x is equals to 2. Then I have x is equals to minus 5 over 3. But I think I have an issue with this. Okay? Now the issue is, once you substitute x, once you substitute x equals to minus 5 over 3 into the question, hmm? into the question it will give you a root of a negative and the root of a negative number is actually in the complex plane it's not the real so the solution will come back the solution x is equals to minus 5 over 3 is not real okay now because it is not real and in this question, we are actually uh, to look. We actually are to look for the real solution. Then we will now conclude, okay, that x is equals to two, and x is equals to four will be the solution to this question. It is lengthy, but I want to believe you enjoyed it. Okay, so please. Make sure you subscribe for more interesting questions. So thank you for being here.